This is how you can use my AI agent to steal bookings from other hosts. I just worked with an Airbnb, which was managing over 50 different properties. And as soon as we installed this AI voice agent, it started closing bookings while he slept. Why? Well, because speed wins. All the other hosts were way too busy juggling guest messages, late night emergencies, and pricing tweaks. Meanwhile, guests are booking with whoever replies first, sounds human, and actually gives them the best possible customer service. Because I built an AI agent that runs 24 seven, it speaks five different languages, and is able to check live availability to help guests with their bookings and even send photos of the individual properties via text. So to help you out today, I'm going to show you three things. First of all, a live demo. Second of all, a walkthrough of how this is actually built on the back end. And third, a cost breakdown. So you can see how much money you're leaving on the table simply by being too slow to adapt. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. My name's Liam. I've helped businesses all over the world to save tens and tens of thousands a year using AI. If you would like to do the same for your business, there's a booking link down below. You can use that to schedule a free AI consultation call. As always, I am limiting the spots to only the first three people that apply, so I hope to see you in there. And now let's dive into the live demo. All right, so here we are in Resell AI. This is what we use to build the AI agent. And in the background, we have a system in N8N. Now, what this all means and how it works, I'll explain in just a second. But now let me give this a call so you can see what it sounds like. Benvenuti a Class BNB. My name is Claire. What language would you like to speak? Uh, hey, Claire. Yeah, um, thanks for, for staying up. I called Hi. you at two o'clock in the morning. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I would like to make a booking from um, October 15th till October 30th. Do you have something available? Of course, happy to help. Just to confirm, in what location would you like to stay? Uh, do you have Milano? Yes, we do have properties in Milano. Okay, great. And um, just to confirm, how many guests... Oh, yeah, it's, it's Perfect, me and my, um, a friend of mine, so two. Thanks for confirming. So, that's two guests checking in on October 15th and checking out on October 30th in Milano. Is that correct? Um, yeah, that, that, sounds, that sounds great. I'm just quickly checking the system. One moment, please. Okay, thank you. Great news! I found a few available options for you in Milano. I've just sent you a text message with an overview of the best choices. Please take a look and choose whichever one suits you best. You can stay on the line with me if you have any questions about the properties or need help with anything. And when you're at the checkout page, let me know. I'll give you a discount code for 5% off. Okay, great. Let me quickly take a look at the options. Um... So I see you've got Absolutely. two available. Okay, I've, I've chosen one of them. Could you give me the discount code, please? Absolutely. You can use the code XLT186 for 5% off at checkout. Great. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, that's it. Thank you very much. That sounds great. And um, can we auch einmal auch Deutsch weitersprechen? Natürlich, wir können gerne auf Deutsch weitermachen, falls Sie noch Fragen haben. Vielen Dank für Ihren Anruf Grazie. bei Class B&B. Einen schönen Tag noch. <laughs> awesome. So that was pretty cool. As you can see, it can also switch languages. I switched to German at the end, but it can also speak... Um, what else can it speak? Let's see here. We've given it the languages um, English, Spanish, French, German and Italian. And as you can see, it checked the system in the back end. It sent me a text, which I quickly popped onto my laptop here so you can see. And it sent me a link pre-filled. So I didn't have to type in, you know, um, uh, between these dates, I didn't have to type in the area, the guest. It just sent me this link, which was pre-done. So now I can just take a look um, on the website at the photos, which is way better than trying to describe the apartment, right? And then to make sure that we don't lose the booking over the link, it actually offers them a discount code as well which they can use at checkout. So once they're done, they can have a look at all of this. They can click on continue and then add the discount code. By the way, in case you want to book a stay, um, Class BNB, great properties, uh, can only recommend. So now let me show you how you can build this on the back end. So to build this, we've used a couple different softwares. Resell AI to actually uh, build the AI agent. In N8N, we have a bunch of different tools. Now, as you can see, there's actually a um, quite a few things in here. We have Lots of other features for this AI, but that's saved for a new video. Now, down here is the one that we're going to look at today, which is the one that actually makes the booking. And by the way, as you can see here, check availability. This checks not just in any software, it can check in your company specific software as well. So there's a few things um, we're going to cover, but let's start here in Retail AI. So 
Basically, this prompt does a lot more than just make bookings, but we've basically told it that this is a friendly receptionist at class B and B. First of all, it has to determine between new customers and current guests, which is important if the guest wants to request maintenance, which, as I said, I'm going to be explaining in another video. And um, then give it some additional context like the current time. Really important for making bookings that when I say I want to make a booking this you know, October, then it knows it's 2025 and not 2023, which is when the models or most of the models were last trained. Uh, great. So then what you do then is it skips to the new customer flow. And then we tell it um, when would they like to ask questions like when would they like to check in, what dates, where, for example. So um, in which which property do they want to stay. And then once it's collect all of these details, it can use a tool called check availability. Now this tool we can figure over here. And we basically tell this tool, um, extract from the conversation, all the things that they I just asked, like, um, when would they like to check in? When would they like to check out? And so on. Now this tool over here, which I can't click on because it'll reveal some company specific data. But what it does is it sends that information to N8N, to this webhook over here. First of all, we get the, in this case, the company was using cross booking. Uh, we get the cross booking access token, which means that now we're allowed to access the cross booking system. And then we have a filter for all the different tools. But in this case, we just need the check availability tool. So if, if, the, um, if the name of the tool, as you can see in retail, we have a few different tools, right? So, um, check availability, for example, is the one that we're instructing the agent to use. If it's called check availability, then it goes down this pathway. Now what this pathway does is it checks in cross booking, right? So we basically hook it up with cross booking. And once again, I, I can't show you this, unfortunately, because then uh, you would see a few <laughs> um, bits of data that you're not allowed to see. We basically get first of all, have to get the availability overall in that time frame. And next, we take a look at of all of the rooms, which ones are in the area of Milano, right? That's what this code over here is for. This code there uh, basically allows us to filter um, which rooms are available between which dates for two people in a specific area. Now, next, what we do is we filter is anything available? If not, we send a message back to the AI saying, unfortunately, nothing's available here. How about you try for next week? And then if it is available, however, then we do f a few things. So first of all, we set um, we set a few location IDs. So as you can see over here, we have some information which is sent across. And in the webhook, we also have, let's go all the way till the bottom. We have the information sent across from the AI, which is the check-in date, the location, checkout date, and guest amount. Now in here, we basically set the location ID which will be used in a moment in the URL. Because right here, as you can see, we have book class B and B, you know, the URL. And then we put information like the amount of guests or the location or the from date or the to date into the URL. And the output then is a URL which we send through a text message. And I've quickly disabled this so I can show you. Here you'd put the from number, so you text it from your number to the number that was just on the phone with you calling from. So you can basically detect where is the number um, uh, who's calling you and then you can send to this number the message which would be this URL here. And the cool thing is if we open that URL in a new tab, then you can see rooms equals to 2025 and so on, right, uh, which is pretty cool. And then collection ID uh, 3B3, 3 was the code in this case for Milano, which as you'll remember, we formatted over here. So if the AI says, this person wants to stay in Milano, it'll output location ID number three. And then we'll have this over here with literally everything pre filled, right? We have October, um, we have the dates, we have Milano area two guests. And now the guest only has to select the option and click check out. How cool is that? So what does an investment like this even look like? So as I said before, this over here has a lot more features, which can give you a lot of peace of mind, stay tuned for an upcoming video. And overall, I've given you an example of information. So this is not actually what the company paid, uh, just for privacy reasons, it is, um, uh, it's an example for you to understand the value. So there's a few things to look at the AI price per minute, which is around 11 cents, right? If you go in retail, in this case, it's 11.5 um, in this case, because it speaks multi multilingual. Um, but 
Uh, this is around what you pay for the AI. Now, this is extremely cheap compared to what it was a couple of months ago. It used to be double this, so the, the rates are definitely going down. And comparing this to a human, assuming you're not paying the minimum wage, it's around three times that at, at most. Uh, at least, sorry. So it's it's three times, at least three times um, more uh, cheap than a human. Now, let's say you get 60 calls a day times 30 minutes. That's around um, like 600-ish dollars a month, roughly. And as you can see already, for someone working 24-7 in multiple languages who's able to do quite a lot of things, this is very affordable. <laughs> and now if you take a look at the overall forecasting for the year, so say you have 12 months where you use the system, usually without AI, this company was paying a call center 3500 every single year, for example, right? Um, say you're paying a company 3500 every single month. With AI, there's two parts. The investment, which would be for the development, for example, in this case, only 6500 And then the usage cost, which is only six, well, it was pretty close, 600, 614, right? And um, as you can see in the monthly savings, in the first month, you lose, in this case, 3000 right? Because their setup cost is more expensive than paying your current team. But after month two, every single month, you save 2886 And the cool thing is, the cumulative AI savings, they stack up like crazy. So after month two, you're already making thousands. And this turns into, you know, tens of thousands. And then all of a sudden, after only one year of using this, you have saved, in human labor, $31,632. And that's, that's pretty cool. Now, the best part about this is it's not like you're trading in your team for a worse system, right? You heard that this thing sounds very real. It can speak many languages. You know, I don't know if any call center member could speak five languages that well. It's hugely cost effective. It's 24-7, mind you, right? 24-7 service. It can handle 10 calls at once. And this is just the basis. I believe retail AI, if we take a quick look, at concurrent to used here look concurrent to used it's actually 20 calls in retail by default so this is actually 20 calls at once so there is there is no more wait time guys like it is it is history wait time is history uh, it saves you a huge amount of time so you actually get paid 31000 for having better service 24/7 no wait time better customer service, better use of those humans, by the way. They can do much, much more important things now in your company. And you have the peace of mind that all questions will be answered and you won't be woken up at 2 a.m., right? Now, we haven't even accounted for the extra bookings that get made because if you notice that somebody answers instantly, they can help you out with this level of service in your native language and there's no wait time, that's bound to increase the amount of bookings you get. But we haven't even accounted for this. So minimum savings of $31,632 per year for having better service. Doesn't get better than this. All right, so I hope after seeing this demo and the breakdown, you can understand how powerful AI can be for your Airbnb. If you would like to work with me and explore what this would look like for your company, there is a link down below where you can completely free get an AI consultation. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video.